Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to show discounts on product pages on Shopify. As you can see here, we are on a product page right here and you can see the discount is showing. You have the regular retail price and then you also have the comp pair at price right there. So I'm going to be showing you in this video how to do this, not just for single products, but also for products with multiple different variants. And as you can see here, you have like silver, gold, you know, if you have different colors, you can also set different product pricing for the compare at price. That's going to be showing you here in the Shopify tutorial today. And if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go check out that first link down in the description box below. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We can get set up with Shopify today. That's at brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over your Shopify free trial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So first things first to get the compare at and discount showing on your product page. You're going to want to go over to your Shopify home in your Shopify dashboard. Then you're going to go over to products. Now, if you already have a product, of course, then all you have to do is go ahead and click here. But if you don't already have a product, you just click on add product and then you can go ahead and add in your product. Of course, I already have two different products here. So first we're going to be showing you, you know, to do it on a traditional product that doesn't have multiple variants because it's a lot easier if you don't have multiple variants to edit that price. So as you can see, you just scroll down to pricing fairly straightforward. This is how you show your discount. So let's say the regular uh, price that you want to show is, let's just say 19. Oh, we're going to want to move over there. So let's just go with uh, 19.99. Dot nine nine. So that is the price we want to sell it for. So almost $2,000. And then the compare at price, let's say is 3000. So that's what like a standard retail price would be. And you can determine whether or not you want to charge tax on the product as well. And you can set a cost per item. So if you want to track your margins in the Shopify backend, you can do that here as well. Customers won't see that, but this is all that you need to edit in order to show the discount on the product page is editing the compare at price. So the compare at price is that slash through number. You're going to go ahead and click save. And then all we have to do is go over to the product listing here. So this is one if you don't have multiple variants. And so we should have saved it there. Go ahead and refresh that again. And boom, there we go. So that is how easy it is to edit it and to show that discount on the product page if you are just editing a product with a single variant. So no colors, no styles, no sizing options. Um, so that is really all it takes to edit the compare at price. Now, as far as the look and feel of the compare at price, that and the discount on the product page, that is primarily driven by your Shopify theme. If you want to edit any of the way that this really looks, you can go into editing your Shopify theme, um, which all you have to do is go over to your home, then go to sales channels, online store themes. So, you know, if you want to change that look and feel, you're gonna to wanna to use a different Shopify theme, or you can go in and customize the colors and the look and feel uh, specific to your theme. I'm not spending too much time in that in this video today. Um, you know, If you wanna check out different popular free themes, there's a lot of different themes available. I'll leave a link down in the description box below as well to some of the best Shopify free themes uh, that I've covered. Uh, many of them are listed here. You, know, you could feel free to check out different themes if you want to edit the color, the look and feel. You can customize some of that. Uh, yourself, but ultimately a lot of it is driven by the specific theme itself as far as like the font, the look and feel generally. You can edit some of that as well in the theme settings uh, if you do want to make it look a little bit different. Um, so next, I'm going to be showing you now how to edit it, the compare at price for multiple variants. So it's a little bit more tricky. We're going to go back to the product page listing here. So as you can see, we have the different variants for two variants. So you see here, there's not the same type of edit option. Now you can edit the regular listing price here if you want to, um, but that does not edit the actual compare at price. So what we're going to have to do is go over back to the regular listing page. You're going to want to click on the checkbox here and you're going to click edit products. This will bring up the bulk editor. And then as you can see here, this is how you can edit your compare at price for 
Um, multi you could even do this for multiple different products if you want as well, but this is how you have to do it if you have set up different variants. So as you can see here, we have silver and gold. So let's go ahead and test out doing different compare at prices. So let's just say uh, we've got silver at that price, and let's just say gold is more expensive. I really don't know a ton about watches personally, uh, but let's just say we have the compare at price at 9000 and we're setting the sale price at... Uh, let's just say seven nine 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 nine, or maybe let's just set that compare out price even a little higher. Let's go twelve, right? So let's say gold is a lot more coveted; it's a little more rare. So you can set save that here, and then that will reflect on the product page. We're gonna go ahead and refresh it. So you have silver at that price, and then gold, as you can see here, has a different compare at price as well as the actual sale price that you're selling your product at. So you do have the ability to edit uh, different variations there as well. Now, this is just editing it on the product page here. This is different than adding a traditional discount code. If you want to learn more about how to actually edit discounts in your Shopify store, I'll leave a link down below. I have a tutorial on that as well. Uh, in the description, I'll take you right over to another video I created on how to edit discounts if you want to do discount codes. So that's all about discount codes, all different types. This is this video is just specifically editing your product page discount. Now, another thing to mention as well, so as you can see here, you have your different variant, which is nice. You have different variant uh, pricing. You can also do that for multiple different um, variations. So if you have like, you know, multiple different variations. All of that will be edited here in the bulk editor. This is the Shopify bulk editor, allows you to do things in bulk as well. So say you had like a lot of products, a hundred products, you could edit them all, boom, kind of like a spreadsheet. That's what the bulk editor is designed for. So that's how you're able to do it in multiple different variants. Like I said before, it's a lot easier if you're just editing a single product you know, all you have to do is go ahead there to that compare at price. Now, another thing to mention uh, as well is that this compare at price will also show up anywhere else on your online store. So we're at the homepage right now. Now, this is just a test store. I haven't really done a whole lot of graphic design work or anything. This is just the Dawn theme right out of the box pretty much. So you can also edit images and things like that if you want these to line up a little bit better. But as you can see, you have the compare at price also listed in your featured products section. So as you can see, this discount is then listed pretty much everywhere else that this product appears on your store, not just the product page, but also on the different collection pages. If people go to search for a product in your store, uh, it'll show up in the cart section as well. Um, but this is basically shown everywhere, wherever your product is shown, then you have your product discount compare at price shown anywhere on your online store, which is really, really great to make sure that those discounts that are shown um, are, are clear to many different customers that it's available at a different price. So as you can see, the difference with the variant and the regular uh, single product is you have from that price. So, you know, if you have multiple different pricings, it'll show the from at that bottom floor pricing, depending on the variant. If, if in this case with the Rolex, if they're going with silver or if they're going with gold, you'll, you'll see that that pricing is reflected there as well in any of the featured product sections within your store, different collections. And then as you can see, you just click on that and boom, you have your uh, different variants of compare at pricing and being able to show that discount right on the product page. This is nice and powerful, different than discount codes because discount codes are only gonna show at checkout. So if, you know, if you're doing that, you wanna make sure it's all over the banner and things like that. Like I mentioned before, I have a whole tutorial going over you know, discount codes, but showing it on the actual product page is really nice just to give that clear visibility like, hey, this is the discount that you can expect your product at. Once again, you know, if you want to see the specific differences between like the way it looks, you're going to want to go into your theme settings, customize things is really driven more specifically by the actual theme that you choose based on the colors. Things will look up, uh, you know, if you have little bubbles or just the dash through, but you know, it personally, this is just the, the regular default Shopify free theme. I think it looks pretty nice. Just having that slash through very clean, very aesthetic and simple, but yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial here today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell. So you're notified whenever I upload a new video. 
Guys, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below. BrandValeski.com forward slash Shopify will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We can get set up with Shopify today. Guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.